was in a really bad situation when I was little. My grandma raised me since I was 11 years old. So she saved my life. I wanted to be with her until she passed. So I took care of her. I promised her. I said, Grandma, you saved me when I was a little girl and, and I'm gonna stay with you and, until you, you're gone. And we had a house fire. Um, as I'm taking care of my grandma, uh, we lost nearly everything in the house. And you know, here I am, I, f I felt like a, a scared little girl. I was gonna take her here to Texas uh, with Evie and she passed away. I lost my house, I lost my money, and I lost my grandma. It's just me and Evie and $500 in my pocket, and I have nothing or, or nobody. And uh, I found out about this place, and, um, and I turned in the application to CTL, and the next day I got a phone call. <laughs> Once I came to CTL, I felt like home. It's comfortable. You get your own room, you know, with your child. And I, I just felt so welcomed and accepted. And I could tell like this was the beginning of something great, you know. So this um, Center for Transforming Lives model is comprehensive and we're addressing all those root causes of poverty at the same time for mother and child. So we're working with the mother to create economic opportunity. Um, economic opportunity often starts with childcare. So once that childcare is taken care of, we can address the housing needs, we can look at employment opportunities, um, and then figure out what the barriers are to those opportunities. Sometimes it's mental health. Um, you know, 80% of the women that we serve have either depression or anxiety or both. You have counseling to help with what you're going through. And for me, I was going through a lot of trauma, a lot of grief, and I needed that so I could be strong. They have economic mobility uh, that helps you with your money, helps you save your money. They literally make sure that every single aspect of your stability and your well-being and your future is taken care of. And I met Sydney and we clicked right away. She goes above and beyond for me and for everyone that she works with. She got a job. She had Evie in um, daycare. She would uh, show up right when she got off work for case management, for counseling. She was working economic mobility, learning how to save and budget. So she was just using every you know resource that we gave her. It just showed her that she was doing this on her own, that she was independent. She was going to be able to provide a safe, warm, loving home for her child. I've literally like rose above it all and, and it's all because CTL. And now I have a home, a job, a future. Anything I could have ever dreamed of for a life. And I was so hopeless and I thought I had nothing. And, and now I have everything. <laughs> I called my grandmother crying, like, I told her I was pregnant, and I mean, she was there. Towards, like, my junior year, I fell behind on my credits, so I, I dropped out. I took a year and a half off, and then I went back to school, went to Khan Academy off of Lancaster, and that's where I was introduced to the Center of Transforming Lives, and where Elijah went, and now Liberty. And what's really fantastic about Jalen is that she kept her eye on her goals. So the support that she was able to get through our partnership with Texans Can Academy, the childcare that we were able to offer allowed her to really keep 
her eye on the prize. I was able to study evenings, of course, and then go to my morning classes while he was at daycare. That was the comforting thing, that I would be able to tell my teachers, like, oh, I'm just gonna go check on my son and still go back to class, and I'm able to not worry about pay, but also know that they're in good hands. We are a federally funded company. We provide diapers, we provide wipes, we provide nutritious meals. We don't ask them for any out-of-pocket expenses. It helps lighten their load. You know, if I don't have that financial barrier over my head, you know, I could feel a little bit more comfortable and free to do what I need to do uh, for myself and my family. I was able to get my certificate to become a dental assistant while Elijah was still going to Khan Academy. Elijah had been going there since he was one. He was in early Head Start. He transferred over to Head Start. Education is the foundation that we try to make sure that the families realize is important. As far as literacy and as far as, you know, wrapping your brain and your family around a socialization, we're constantly helping um, foster their fine motor skills, their gross motor skills, and their socialization with play. Creating healthy relationships and healthy environments is is what Center for Transforming Lives tries to create. And when everybody asks me where my kids go or how I went about when I dropped out, I tell them everything because they've been the best. They've helped my child grow, but they've also helped me grow too. You know, I think of our donors as partners. <laughs> They see women like Adrienne and Jalen, and they say, that's who I want to invest in. Um, that mother, those children, and the difference that um, Center for Transforming Lives, um, with my support, can make in, their, in those lives. This is um, the most amazing gift that you can give to people because in less than a year, I've, I've changed my whole life. I felt hopeless, I had nothing. You feel like, oh my gosh, I can't do this, but but you can. You just got to look for opportunities out there. There's always a door open when one door closes. Thanks to the daycare, I was able to expand my education and my future as well. And because of this program, I, I have everything that I need to be successful in my life. <laughs>